All right, so it's about an hour later after leaving Gibson's. I've literally probably only traveled like nine miles up the road and look at where I am. This is Roberts Creek. Oh, like this coast is so magical and there's just so many little treasures. So we're going to go to the beach, kids. I just saw a snake <laughs> and it wasn't a trouser snake. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes, please. The last days of summer and beach time. When you get old, you have to work on balance and agility. That's the key to keeping your core good. So I have found this gorgeous spot at Roberts Creek and uh, I was just sitting here and admiring the ocean view and there's families behind me in the water swimming and I just had a lovely conversation with uh, Kevin and his family. It was so great to meet you guys and your kids catching crabs on, in the water. I, I'm feeling so safe and at home in this area and uh, I'm going to stick around here for a while. You know, I just, uh, you just, when you find a place you like, you know, you know, right? Um, so yeah, the travel plans ended up changing this summer. Uh, didn't get to go to the places I wanted to go to, but I, that's the beautiful thing about my home that I can roll down the road with is I just put my key in the car and I go to a different place to safety, to energy, to something interesting, exciting, adventurous. Um, that to me is this true freedom and just what, oh, just, feeds my soul absolutely feeds my soul and it's what's healing me and uh, keeping me healthy <laughs> I don't know how long I'm gonna do this I didn't think I'd still be in the ninth element after oh my gosh this is month 18 this is month 18 of living out of my Honda element well wow. okay so there's going to be more adventures today, but I just thought I would check in with you again. But I think I'm just going to sit here, soak up the sun, and, uh, and enjoy.
Welcome to the shipping container tiny house. I'm just going to take you through this little tiny house and I'm going to show you what it's all about. But if you were ever curious as to what it's like to be inside a finished shipping container as a tiny house, this video is for you. So I'm currently standing in the doorway of the bedroom and I'll just turn around and show you here. There's this little doorway here that goes into the bedroom. This is the living area with a nice couch. There's a TV, books and games. There is an eating nook and uh, a prep counter with an induction cooker, toaster oven, pots and pans, kettle, all the dishes to make beautiful, nutritious meals, a nice big stainless steel sink, and a full-size fridge. These guys did not spare any expenses when they were putting this shipping container tiny home together. I mean, look at these cute little pussy willows. And they even gave me a bear bell. And if you don't know what these are, when you go walking in this area, there are a lot of bears. So I just think it's really great, all of the extra things that they thought of. <laughs> oh yeah, bears. We are now at Half Moon Bay on the Sunshine Coast and behind me is uh, the bay at this provincial park which is very close to the tiny house shipping container that I just gave you a tour of. So when you are up on the Sunshine Coast at all of these really cute little towns and villages, there are all kinds of little parks like this to pull off and go hiking. So. I think we're gonna go up here for a morning walk. There's just a little light sprinkle. Maybe we'll see some seals or a bear.
Do you hear that crunch? Do you know what that means? That means fall is starting. And as you'll see on some of the trees behind me and in front of me, they're changing colors. And that means I have to think about what I'm going to be doing this winter. I have no idea. Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say